Open mic. Mic check. Hey. Hey. What's up? Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fuck! Fuck, fuck you! One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Fuck, fuck, fuck you! Hey, kids, I know you're listening. We fucking hate you. I said it like a thousand times. We fucking hate you. We're all in agreement here. Cops fucking suck. Right? They're all nice and shit in these rich ass neighborhoods, but right next to Mrs. Street, they're harassing people every fucking day. Every single day. Targeting black people. You know, fucking uh, 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 sending to dispatch that they're suspicious, all kinds of fucked up shit. And they know that. So keep this energy, harass the pigs, fuck them, fuck their feelings, fuck all that shit. We need to make their lives hell. And also, we need to show them that we're fucking happy despite their terrorism. Right? Um, so yeah, uh, I'm just gonna bust the fucking uh, a rap uh, shit. Somebody beatbox or something. Somebody beatbox or something. Shit. Uh, hey, fuck a pig. I don't care if you die or live. You used to terrorize us ever since we were fucking kids. We hate you. You ain't great. We just want you all to fucking quit now. All right, thank you. Thank you. I'm dead. <laughs> My name is Tandino415. I got a verse. I got a verse for y'all tonight. This is modern day slavery, slavery at its worst. Before we jump and react, let's sit back and think first. Many years, many tears with corrupt in power. Teach prejudice and fear till we're down to the last hour. Prison industrial complex, gunfire and bomb threats. Let's communicate and take a break from the high tech. Get your head out the eye clouds, get grounded again. Break away from the crowd and recognize a true friend. Like our natural leader, Mumia Abu. He got thrown under the jail because he exposed what they do. They want us fighting each other. But hands full of bricks control the population. Push more wealth into the hands of the rich. Separation is a grand scheme because unity they fear it. Framing innocent men just for being coherent. They enslave the peoples, but never the spirit. Now we're fighting for justice and making sure that they hear it. Yeah. Fuck 12! Yeah, uh, I'm, I'm Johnny, Johnny Gould, Tandino415 on Instagram if anybody's interested. Peace and power to the people. 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 Mike is open. What's up, everybody? My name is Ezra Wallace, 18 years old, from the East Bay. It's fuck 12 till I die. The area till I die. Fuck capitalism till I die. Fuck fascism till I die. That's how we do it over here. Don't come to the bank. If you ain't ready, don't come to the bank. Don't come to the fuck that shit. Just cause they give you shit don't mean you have to take it. Just cause they give you hate don't mean you have to take it. Just cause they give you self hate don't mean you have to take it. Just cause they give you capitalism and inequality don't mean you have to take it. Don't take it. Don't take it. Every fucking day. You know what I'm saying? That's what my dad taught me. If anyone ever calls you an N-word, punch him in the motherfucking face. Punch him in the... it's, a, it's like this, bro. It's like this. The system, the capitalists, the pigs, they're the bear, right? And the bear is strong. The bear might be stronger than you, but guess what? If it tries to attack you, you know what you do? You punch in the motherfucking nose, and you know why? Because even if they, even if they take you down, you have to make it hurt. Make 
make it hard to take you down. Make it hurt. Because the next time they say, I'm not gonna fuck with them. I'm not gonna fuck with them anymore. Alright? And, and guess what, bro? It's the wolf in sheep's clothing. Alright? That's what this all this shit is. The wolf in sheep's clothing. All the people can. Oh, the, we, we passed that shit. We passed the, the restaurants. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're like, oh, Black Lives Matter, but not enough to stop eating my fucking $20 artisanal fucking pizza. Oh, Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter, but not enough to stop eating your food. Oh, fuck that shit. All right? People are starving out here. You eat while people are starving. All right? Now it's fuck gentrifiers all day, but most importantly, above that, it's fuck gentrification. All right? Fight the system. All right? That's what you got to do. Liberation. Liberation is like trees. You got to plant the seed in the ground, in the soil, and over time it grows. But you got to water it. You got to nurture it. And one of the things we're doing right here, building community, changing our fucking brains out, fucking showing them who we are. That's water. That's water for the tree that makes it grow. All right? That's really all I gotta say. Like I said, as well as, as Nass on Instagram, uh, follow me, fuck 12, like just fuck the whole system, bro. Fuck all this shit. All right, let's go. I want all of you to look around, look at the crowd, look at the people next to you. This is your community. This is soon to be family, if not family already. This is the kind of turnout we get in a major city one year later. Think about those crowds in June. Everybody says that the revolution happened in June. The movement happened in June and it's gone now. It's far from gone. Just because we have lesser numbers doesn't mean our bond isn't stronger now. Once you hit the ground, you bond at the speed of light. If I don't know you yet, we will come to know each other. Yeah. Because that's how it works on the streets. We're a fucking family and we're a fucking community. And when we work together, we will win. Fuck 12! We don't do what they want! Fuck you! Hey, fuck 12. Hey, what's up, y'all? My name is Woody. Uh, some of y'all might know me, some of y'all might not. Uh, Woods2198 on Instagram. Um, yeah, so this is family right here. This is community, bro. This is what the Bay looks like. This is what happens when you come to the Bay. It's a fucking melting pot, bro. Everybody comes here from everywhere. They bring what they can bring. They bring the best to the table. And you accept it for what it is, bro. Take the best, leave the rest. They, they just teach hate. They just teach ignorance. They just teach bullshit, honestly. Family, community, we were all just community people. We were nomadic people. And we all came together to make this world better. And then capitalism came, and then bullshit came, slavery came, and they just wanted to separate us and disband us. But nah, we can't be doing that, bruh. This is what we gotta do. This is what we gotta do right here. Bring it together. Everybody out of the sidewalk in the streets, bruh. Family. Everybody hold their own. Trade Instagrams, get to know each other, bruh. We gotta keep doing this. Keep it going. Do me a favor and text your friends. Tell them we're still out here. Tell them they're invited. We're gonna be out here until we keep it out here, you know? So, I wanna build on something he was saying real quick. How many people are here, my Badcock community, how many people are artists, creatives, you make something? Those are the people you need to tap in with. Those are the people you need to support. Those are the people your money needs to go to. Those are the people that your time, your energy, all your passion needs to go to them. Support them because it's their vision, their strength, their power, their words that are gonna fucking change the future. The revolution isn't gonna start by supporting the same 10 fucking artists on the top 10 in the billboard. That's not gonna do shit. They're not writing for us. They're not paying attention to us. They're doing it for the fucking money. Pay attention to the people that are out here spitting real truth on the street with you every single day. Like when Martin Zilla was fucking spitting shit earlier today. Find him, follow him, support that shit. There's other artists out here too, visual artists. You got your visual artists, you got, you got people that teach poetry, you got people that are gonna open your mind. Tap in with them. Let yourself continue to learn, continue to grow, and continue to build your community and build yourself. That's what this is about. Yeah. Dang, little like little 
revolutionary me would have never dreamed of talking in San Francisco. Ooh. That's so cute. <gasps> okay, without saying too much, I'm from a racist ass town. Okay, boo. Suburbia to the max. But don't worry, we stirring the pot out there. We got it. We got it. She's not lying. <laughs> they hate us. If the cops don't hate you, you're not making enough noise. But we're out here for Brianna Taylor. The first time I protested for Brianna Taylor. My local police department locked me up on bullshit trumped up charges. I know, right? $88,000 bail. What the fuck? Deadass. Let me out before my court date, then dropped the charges, then they brought them back trying to mess with me, you know, court dates and legal fees, all of that stuff. And then they took me to jail again, but that's a different story. <laughs> And it's just crazy. Like you arrested the black woman at the black woman protest. Damn. Damn. And I told y'all I'm from a racist ass town. So I'm damn near the only black woman around. I know so many black women on the front lines, so many, that sacrifice their time, their mental health, their social life, their relationships, their money for the revolution for other people, for the greater good, the well-being of the entire planet. Because let's be real, if you topple the American empire, you liberate the whole damn globe. I'm looking at you, kid. I'm looking at you. Oink, oink. But it's sad to say that there's a pattern, unfortunately, a pattern of those same black women that show up for everybody around them not being protected. I will say something and I'm, I'm perceived as aggressive and over the top and too much and an and agitator and I'm too loud and I need to chill. I need to take it down a notch. I need to not be so hostile. Fuck them! The worst part about that though is that every black woman I meet relates. I should not relate to black women I don't know on that shit. And it's not limited to right wing spaces. It's not limited to the professional world. That shit's in the leftist community and it's nasty. You want me to make my black woman voice, my experience, my actual lived experience in this world, you want me to make myself smaller? No, no. For your comfort? No, no. When you say no justice, no peace, baby, I deserve peace. When I'm with my comrades, I should not feel drained. I should not feel ashamed. I shouldn't feel stupid. I should feel fueled to continue marching in these fucking streets until I liberate my people. And I want to encourage any black woman in the crowd to be unapologetically a black woman. People say George Floyd's name, they fight for these black men, but I need them to show up for this black woman. And listen, when I say show up for black women, when we say protect black women, when we say defend us, that means but while we, while we are here, while I am standing next to you, while I'm standing in front of you telling you my truth, spilling my shit all on the table. Fight for me while I am here. Don't wait for me to go to jail to say, hey, are you good? Don't wait till I hop on the timeline dropping my cash app because I need money for my bills. Don't wait. Don't wait. Don't wait. Woo! No more names. Period. I'm right here, heart thumping. I got shit to lose but I'm out here because it's worth it to me. And I know so many black women that are willing to put everything on the line for each and every one of y'all. I don't have to know you. I don't have to know you. Historically, black women been getting the shit done. Always. So all I ask is that you continue to show up. Yeah, you saw a couple organizations throw this shit together and it's popping, it's cool, I love it. Y'all are awesome. But do this shit every day. Survival programs. 
I love that we're talking about anti-capitalism shit, because that's what we need to be talking about. Yeah. Yeah. Alleviate your community of its dependence on the system. Yeah. And with that, power to the people. Hello, my name is Marcel. I'm a teacher. I'm 24 years old. I'm not from the Bay Area, I'm from Southern California. I'm a white gay boy, and this is a message from a white gay boy to all your white folks out there. Thank you, but I'm also going to call us out. What are you going to do after this protest? It's, it's nice that we're showing up and we're being part of the numbers out here. But what are you gonna do? We work. Are you gonna call out your boss or your coworker the next time they say some racist shit to you or your other coworker? Are you gonna be silent? Are you gonna be white silent? I hope not. Because if you're out here, it means nothing if you're not gonna go back home and talk to your family and your friends. Okay. It's not gonna mean anything that you're out here right now. Although it's great, it's not gonna mean anything if you don't go home and talk to your friends and family and your coworkers and your bosses. If you don't ask questions, if you don't read, if you don't reflect, we are all complicit. No one's, ex no one's an exception. I'm not an exception. I perpetuate white supremacy whether I like it or not. I have to do my job and you do too. So you go home and read, you go home and read the articles, you go home and reflect and you figure out your own personal brand of white supremacy because you are not an exception. Do the work, because tonight, showing up here, and keep showing up, keep showing up, but tonight is not enough. Do the work. So I just want to add something to what he just said in terms of doing the work. And I'm saying this from the perspective of a, a biracial person who identifies as being black, but I'm in white spaces all the time just because I'm related to a bunch of white people. And doing the work does not just consist of you, you know, working on yourself. When you're in these white spaces and you hear people say some racist shit, you call them out on that shit, period. And you don't let up, even if it becomes an uncomfortable conversation, even if people start getting mad, y'all argue and all that, you gotta hold your motherfucking ground. That's doing the motherfucking work. No, real shit. Because I, I, I work with a lot of white people that's doing the work on themselves, but they complicit with their friends. And understand that it don't matter if they're your friends, it don't matter if they're your sister, your brother, your mama. I don't give a fuck who they are to you. If they're racist, they're racist. That's just period, point blank. Just because you're doing the work don't mean you get to defend racist. I'm just saying because I've seen it so many times and I'm so tired, bro. That is not somebody that I feel is an ally. And speaking on allies, I really don't need allies. I need accomplices out here. That's where I'm at at this point. Fucking ally at this point. I need real accomplices. Motherfuckers is really gonna shut racism down, capitalism down, exploitation, homelessness, all this shit. Y'all really for this shit? Do the real shit then. Like real shit and call out on all this shit. You fight oppression on all sides. All sides. Period. We asked to defund the police. People got scared like we said to abolish the police. That's really what we wanted. That's really what we wanted. But all we wanted to do if we couldn't at least do that is defund these motherfuckers by 50% at least. Because when they get funded, you know where they put them at? It's not in your neighborhoods. Nope, yep. They're in the they don't put them in your neighborhoods, they put them in ours. A lot of people that was supposed to be allies was against that. They don't give a fuck about us. Been against that. That's not that's not ally. Man, I need accomplices then. If that's how you classify your allyship, give me accompliceship then. That's what the fuck I want. Uh -huh. Fuck them motherfuckers. Who really finna fight with me though? Yeah. Who really finna fight with me? Put a fist up right now. Who really finna fight with me though? Real shit. It ain't no good cops in a racist system. No good cops in a racist system. Ain't no good cops in a racist system. No good cops in a racist system. But let me tell you guys why accomplishment, why, why being an accomplice is, is so important compared to being an ally, right? 
I, I, I don't know if it was Muhammad Ali or Malcolm X that said this, right? If I got 100 soldiers at my door and 10 of them like me, but the other 90 have intentions of killing me, do I leave my door open for the 10 that like me and let the other 90 leave the risk of the other 90 coming and fucking me up? Or do I close the door to all of them for my own safety? If we don't get real accomplice people out here, that's what's gonna end up happening. We ain't segregated, we ain't segregated ourselves yet. Since the start, we've really been asking for, for equality, for unity, desegregation, and everything else. We haven't really segregated ourselves yet. And it's because of us that a lot of these people out here have the rights that they do. But the more we see people out here faking the funk, acting like they with us, and then turning their back when shit get real, the more this shit just starts to feel like, you know, I don't know if we can really do this with them. Maybe we just have to do this by ourselves. We gotta lead our own revolution because motherfuckers really ain't with us like they say. We always, I put this on my page too, we always talk about Bacon's Rebellion and the unity of all of us scaring the fuck out of the founding fathers. That's very true. That unity was powerful as fuck, but it was two sides to that coin. All that unity got indigenous servants, their freedom, and Africans, chattel slavery. Us all fighting together got one person to benefit and us the shit in the shit. We're not going for that shit this time. If we all working together, we all working the fuck together. The outcome is gonna be for all of us. Period. If you are not on that type of accomplice, bruh, if you are not this type of accomplice, this is probably not your scene. This is not a moment, this is a whole ass movement. We're in the middle of a revolution right the fuck now. The shit is happening. We are tired. The consciousness has arisen. You need to pick a fucking side. On your side. Ain't no complicit in this. Period. If you ain't with us, you against us like they said. Period. Fuck the motherfucking police. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck the police. Fuck 12. Fuck 12. No good cops in a racist system. No good cops in a racist system. No good cops in a racist system. I don't give a fuck if you still wear you complicit. There's no such thing as a fucking blue light. It's a blue fucking shirt. You chose that motherfucking career. The minute you take that shirt off, you just like you and me. Now you need to pick the motherfucking side, bitch. Fuck 12. Anybody else? Hi, I'm Sid. Uh, I'm Gucci. I'm Gucci, they call me Gucci. <laughs> Hi. Um, I'm fucking tired as fuck. Um, <laughs> in June, all this shit started, and I would look around me. I was like, God damn, we're gonna do it. We're gonna fucking do it. We're gonna do it. It's the last one. No more Trayvons. No more mods. George was the last one. And it's almost been a year. It's almost been a year. But we have more. We have more names. We have less people. And these ugly ass pigs are still out here. Why? I get so mad because people, like she said, the girl that was speaking earlier, the beautiful woman, um, she said that we're fucking tired and people label us as aggressive and angry. Yeah, bitch, I'm angry. I'm fucking mad because my brothers and sisters are dying. They're dying and you know who killed them? The bitches over there. You took us to jail. You kneeled on her neck, you kneeled on his neck and I will never forget. I will never forget what you did. <laughs> and the people won't either. 
We saw what you did. We see what you continue to do. And how dare you stand there? And you stand ugly too. <laughs> Jesus. God, I hate the police. Yeah. <laughs> Every time I drive by, I flip them off. Everyone looks at me like, the fuck? <laughs> you saw what I did. <laughs> didn't hurt nobody. <laughs> Protect black women. We fight for you. We fight for you every day, every week. We give you our everything. It is taking all of me to fight for you. And I didn't sign up for this. But you best believe I'm gonna keep fighting for you. I don't have a choice. So thank you for being here. But please be here next weekend. <laughs> please be here the weekend after that. And the month after that. Until we get the justice we deserve. Thank you. Woo! Say her name. Brianna Taylor. 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 No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. No justice. No peace. Anybody want to speak? Hi everybody, buenas noches. I'm going to do another prayer song. Just to share some medicina, keep some balance. Everybody, you know, thank you for everybody that spoke out. And it's, thank you for expressing yourself. So I'm going to sing this song that we dance in the Aztec culture. That's called Shiki Yego en Xochitl, which means this beautiful flower. Shiki Yego en Xochitl, Shiki Yego en Pano Yolot, Pampani meets la sotla, Pampani meets la sotla. Y cano chino yo lo chiquilla guan so chil chiquilla guan pano yo lo pampani mitz la sotla pampani mitz la sotla y cano chino yo lo no más en en inglés Take care of this flower. Take care of it with your heart. Because I love you. Because I love you. In the deepness of my heart. Take care of this flower. Take care of it with your heart. Because I love you, because I love you, from the deepness of my heart. Oh, thank you. Thank you to everybody who shared. Um, I have a song, this is in dedication to this moment. Even though this moment is hard, or maybe because this moment is hard, we are here. This is a moment, a song, a prayer of dedication to this moment, and it's a prayer of solidarity. Aquí estoy en este mundo para la paz, para la fuerza del amor. Aquí estoy hoy. Aquí estoy en este mundo para la paz, para la fuerza del amor. Aquí estoy hoy. Vamos todos a la unidad. 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 Vamos todos a la unidad, vamos todos a la unidad, 
Vamos todos a la unidad Aquí estoy en este mundo para la paz Para la fuerza del amor Aquí estoy hoy Thank you Thank you for the space today, guys. Uh, uh, my name is Arturo, and I'm here in solidarity with Black Lives. And today I want to read a poem from Maestro Alejandro Murguía, uh, a poet from the mission. He wrote this poem 30 years ago, and this is more necessary to be listened to here uh, today as, as it was necessary back then. Things haven't changed. This is el mundo al revés. It's a strange world we're living here, where fat buzzers perch on trees and good fruit lies on the ground and all around children's bare feet. It's a strange world we're living here. It's a strange mood on this block, everywhere heavily armed cops and, bo and, and a body or two on the street that never had a chance to scream, stop! It's a, it's a strange mood on this block. Pues es el mundo al revés, donde van corriendo los peces y los pajaritos nadan y los gatos pardos ladran, porque es el mundo al revés. It's a strange scene on this street where you learn to die or cheat, and it doesn't matter who you are, you're another pile of meat. Because it's a strange scene on this street. It's a strange world they're selling here, I'm telling you, where curious looks behind the mask don't dare to look you in the eyes. And the budget goes for hate and war and fear, so the best thing is not to buy anything. Because it's a strange world they're selling here. Es el mundo al revés, donde van corriendo los peces y los pajaritos nadan y los gatos pardos ladran. Así es, el mundo al revés. Um, in my house, they taught me that sometimes we have bistec and we give bistec. Sometimes we have frijoles and we give frijoles. So right now, I want to I wanna read from uh, this little scene that we are producing. It's called Urban Prophets Illustrated. We have a few of them here. They're free. So if you want one, please come and get yours. These are the voices of the artists, as they were saying, the prophets. We dedicate our life to observe the reality and we speak back in the form of art. And this is our prophecy, right? <sighs> Sensitive information about the future. Read with caution. At the beginning of the millennium, roaming through the hillsides at the end of the Western lands, the urban prophets claimed they had seen a brighter future for humankind. That future is now. In spite of everyone's disbelief, they prophesied the arrival of social and racial justice, the inevitable world of peace and solidarity would lo where love would reign supreme and there would be no room for, for hate or fear. We will fight, scream and shout. We will take the streets in the name of the future. We will dance and sing and write and paint and we will create a new world. That's what they would say back then, when the revolution was starting. All the love, all the power. Gracias.
guys, Barnzilla, I was doing my thing earlier, um, now I'm here to do this again, you know, for Brianna Taylor, you know what I'm saying, and for all the other people who didn't deserve all this. Oh, pissed. That's awesome. All this police brutality. So yeah, here I am again. I'm gonna spit a, a quick verse. So here we are. Yo, what is this? Why you do that? You act like you win in the battle. This is where we lose at. Cause motherfuckers like you wanna make our faces blue black. Real shit, 100, show you where the truth at. Treat us like a group of punks. For nothing, you tell us get on our knees or get on our tums. What makes them really think that we are so dumb? The guys in the midnight blue we can't trust. Another body caught over there. Another soul just got snatched over here. Another year old person went missing where? Got washed up over there at the pier. What happened to my homie? What happened to my son? What what happened to my favorite and my decent loved one? What did somebody do to him? What has that person done? Does anybody know anything, anyone? He fought somebody at the water. That was his own color. That was his own race. That was another brother. And fight each other for what? We should be brawling with them. The pigs who don't care, so they just cut our life so slim. More down, so many of us left to go. Cutting our time short, too flexible. Turning every piece of meat into a vegetable. Down and out to the ground, they picked the bones. Thank you very much, guys. Again, I'm Barnzilla. Justice for Brianna Taylor goes all the way. Yeah. For real. All right, y'all, we're gonna march together. All right, keep it tight. We already know how to do it. So we're gonna close out right now. Thank you. Yes, the loved one. Thank you very much. That means looking out for each other and not leaving by yourself. These cops are on some other bogus bullshit tonight that have taken two of our comrades for what reason we do not know. Okay. So we are going to march back together peacefully, tight. Everything that we do is determined on how we handle this shit. And we will always, always have the heart to forgive, even though they're stupid. Yeah. Who keeps us safe? We keep us safe. Who keeps us safe? We keep us safe. Who streets? Our streets. Who streets? Our streets. I know that's right. Let's go.